What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my pal Alex and Feist Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another shitbox episode of um, Alex's Toy Show. Uh, we got uh, another shitbox here to open. I can't wait because, uh, you know, they're tough to open. <laughs> Christ. I think that was their New Year's resolution is to make them tougher to open. And we're going to give them less cards for our efforts. Wow, this one is really... How about that? How about that? All right, so in the last episode, we got a really cool um, pack of uh, Topps Mini, but it looks like this year we got... This year, listen to me. Looks like this season we got uh, 89 Donruss again. Lame. Lame sauce. All right, so I got a couple of checklists. You know, got got, got to have your damn checklist. Uh, I got some vintage 82 Donruss, Jeremy Remy. Uh, here's that and the back, kind of cool, you know, nice and legible. Uh, look at this Ron Darling. I thought this was pretty cool. I thought it was early in his career, but I guess he goes back a couple of years further. It's 87 Donruss, right? Ron Darling, nice and young looking. How look, he's strapping lad. Uh, but then, you know, you flip to the back. I thought it was a rookie. I think I'm confusing it with Randy Myers because there was a lot of old uh, Mets pitchers that all came up in the same time, but kind of didn't come up at the same time. Where am I thinking of Rick Aguilera? I don't remember. But uh, he goes back a couple of years. So I'm uh, not to side from the thing. Here's a Mark McGuire. I have no idea what the hell this is. 2000? Is this 2000 and tops? Bowman. Bowman 2000. Oh, it only says in giant gold gold foil lettering. Uh, Bowman 2000, Mark McGuire. And I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, Donruss spirit of the game, Nomar Garcia Parra. Right? Pretty cool. I think... I wonder if that's an insert. Is that an insert? No, it's numbered 412. All right. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool. Uh, I thought this was definitely cool. Check this out. 2002 Tops. Alfonso Soriano. Tops All-Star Rookie. That's a keeper. Just kidding. If you want to trade for any of this stuff in any of my shit boxes, just get a hold of me. Leave it in the comments. Uh, message me on Twitter wherever you're, t and we'll make a trade. I trade heavy, just so you know. Uh, I'll pretty much give you whatever you want. I don't really, I don't really look for a lot. Uh, I thought this was also pretty cool. Um, is this uh, 2000, also 2002? Is that the same kind of thing? I think it is. Yeah, 2002 playoff bound. It's Derek Jeter and Paul O'Neill, two of my favorite Yankees, uh, AL East champions. It's kind of foily looking too. Look at that. I wonder if that's like a, Refractor, if that's just how it looks. See how it looks like? Like, look at the, look at the Soriano card. See when you hold it in the light, the Soriano isn't very refractory, but the Jeter is. Watch this, like an eighty-dollar card. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I thought it was older than it looks. It's Fernando Valenzuela, uh, Revco Tops League leaders, but it turns out it's from nineteen eighty-eight, not like eighty-five or something older. But it's still pretty cool. This is pretty vintage, nineteen eighty Tops. Manny Moda, um, pretty pretty vintage. Look how far back he came up in '62, right? '62, I saw that. Yeah, 1962 with the Cardinals, the Giants. I'm sorry. Go ahead, give it a read. Pretty sweet. Um, in the shit boxes, you get 80 cards per pack, and in one and four boxes, you get a hit, meaning a really good card. Check this out, right here. This is a Stars and Stripes signature. You got the swatch, you got the autograph, serial numbered 034 out of 299, Sammy Faltine. I've never heard of this guy, but that's the uh, that's the memorabilia there. If you catch the serial number in the in the in the light, I don't know if that matters. Autograph, swatch. Here's the back. Never heard of this guy, but hey, that's that's pretty damn hot. Uh, building the 88 score complete set. I got Terry Poole. Not to be confused with Edwin Encarnacion, but here is Juan Encarnacion in a very shiny card. I don't even know what this is. Fleer Sports Sports Illustrated. 1999 Fleer Sports Sports Illustrated. Here's the back. And I thought this was pretty cool. This is a 93 so score select, but it's not the standard green. It's that special, you know, gold color. Not gold color, but, you know, whatever, whatever it was called that year. Eric Davis. It's pretty sweet. You don't see those in every pack. All right, and then we got the uh, 
We got the 89 Donruss to open, wax pack. Y'all know why it's called the wax pack? Because it's sealed with wax, opens right up with some heat, and then you reseal it after you take all the cards you want. Puzzle card, total garbage. Um, this is what they called. I mean, I'm, this is what they called. This is what they look like on the front. Uh, this is what they look like on the back. And I got a bunch of nobodies. Joe McGroin. Oh, Rick Sutcliffe. That's cool. Everybody get a look at that. On the Cubs. And Tony Fernandez. And Ken Herbeck. Oh, my God. All right, that's, uh, that's all for that box. That was kind of light, but I got that hit. And that Derek Jeter. And that signature card, the hit, right? And then the... Or who remembers the Alfonso Soriano All-Star Rookie? That's pretty sweet. All right, everybody, tune in next week for the next shitbox. Bill Shop at Wegmans. I know you've seen that one already. Kurt Young and the Restless. Wally Ritchie Cunningham from Happy Days. That's right. Oh, that's actually top traded. How about that? That's pretty cool. Uh, this is a two for one. Uh, we got Ray Night and Day and Ray All Night Long. 